Hello my viewer and welcome back to another unboxing view and test. Today I have this Reolink 12 channel Wi-Fi 6 NVR recorder for 24-7 local recordings. The model RLN12W. So let's open the box and find out more about this product and how we can use it. Operation instruction. Two meters HDMI cable. Thick cable, I like that. Now let's see what else we have at the box here. The four antennas. One Ethernet cable, one meter, oh, <laughs> a mouse, <laughs> I like that, USB, And the power adapter with an output 12 volt 2 amp 24 watts power consumption. Cable length 1.5 meters. So all that included at the box. Here it is the NVR. At the front we have uh, the power LED indicator and the HDD LED indicator. USB port for your mouse. Connect the mouse here. I will show you later why you want the mouse. Ventilation. We have the fan here. Another ventilation. And at the back the four connections for the four antennas, two 2.4 GHz and two 5 GHz. You can use 5 or 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network with Wi-Fi 6 supported so you can enjoy stable UHD video streaming at all times and with a WPA3 encryption to protect your data and privacy. And here we have the reset button connection for the power another USB here HDMI port VGA port audio output LAN port for internet and another four LAN ports for IP cameras inside we have pre-installed 2TB HDD upgradable to 16TB obviously for the local recording. Let's install the four antennas at the back. Adjustable, 360 degrees, up and down. Long range Wi-Fi signal that can cover more than 1000 square meters under certain conditions of course to keep everything under your control. Nice! <laughs> On a black color the NVR RLN12W supports 24-7 recording, it can work independently without the use of internet, completely offline. This is great, you can even have a UPS connected to the NVR and not worry about power outages. 
And of course with the free reeling app or client you can view the live stream of the cameras connected to the NVR. Now let's move on. Connect everything and see how it works. The Ethernet cable for the internet at this slot and next the HDMI cable for your monitor. And don't forget and the mouse. Scrolling. So here we are. Language. You can choose the language. Screen resolution 1080p depends the display you have. Save. Date format. Time format. Next. Product UAD is the unique identifier of the device. You can use the UAD to add device or look up device information. You can access the device on smartphones or computers via Reolink app or client. Disable enable the UAD allow Reolink app client to access the device via one using UAD enable. And here you can scan the QR code from the Reolink app. There it is, 16 channels, okay, nice. Let's move on, next. System time, you can choose, time zone, DST, next. Super account, create a password with at least six characters. Okay, something easy. <laughs> Later I will change that just to make right now the video. Require password login when unlocking screen, disable, enable, next. Set up password security questions to retrieve password when you forgot yours, okay, next. Storage, 2 terabyte you can format, maximum 16 terabyte. You can rename, next. 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz, you can change the password, I like the keyboard, next, connect the camera and sync the Wi-Fi info, but before that add the app, NVR, not login into the device, and I need to add the password, access. There it is. Later I will show you all these settings. Now connect in one of these four ports the Ethernet cable and then add the first camera. Power on the camera. Okay, here I am. <laughs> The first camera. Sync Wi-Fi info. Current Wi-Fi sync. Connection uh, success. Cancel. Perfect. Now we can add the second camera. After ending the setup we don't need anymore the Ethernet cable. Remove the Ethernet cable from the camera. And now I will install the video doorbell. Ethernet cable here, power on the video doorbell, we need and the chime, it is the video doorbell, for all these cameras I have made a video, you can check after the end of this video, modify, enter the password, Sometimes it doesn't connect automatically, then you need to enter the admin password. I did that in the setup of the NVR. Sync Wi-Fi. Perfect. 
and connect it. There we have the doorbell. And after installation is finished for the video doorbell, remove the Ethernet cable again and use it for the other camera. The third camera. Power on. Okay, there it is, sync Wi-Fi info, perfect, connected and the third camera, so easy, so fast to do. <laughs> and after finishing the setup, remove the Ethernet cable and from the NVR, or if you want you can use the four LAN ports to connect another four cameras, plus 12 cameras with the antennas, total 16 cameras. And next. Server type, Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook or other, SSL or TLS, disable, enable, port, nickname, sender, password, recipient, you can add, content, image, image uh, only, video or text, interval, 5 minutes, 30 seconds to 30 minutes. Next. And there are all the cameras, three, of course you can connect 16 cameras. Settings, you can rename the camera, stream, you can choose resolution, frame rate, FPS, max bit rate, choose a multiple of frame rate, substream, resolution again, the frame rate, max bit rate, so I have made a video for these cameras, you can check these uh, videos down below the description, other playlist, real link, frame rate mode, display, disable preview, enable, you can choose camera name where to add, time stop, watermark, flip display screen, monitoring, all the settings you have at your smartphone you can adjust and from uh, this uh, NVR settings and you can set apply to other cameras. Choose here for which cameras you want to apply and continue. Detection, low, medium, high, you can adjust. Sensitivity for smart detection, settings, person, pet, low to high. Alarm delay from 0 to 8 seconds and for the Pet. Object size, for pet and person you can do the same, delete, delete and apply. Detection area, this area, and apply. Auto tracking, you can do in that. Settings, person, vehicle, for pet, tracking method, object stop, object disappears, horizontal tracking range, you can adjust that. Add time period, audio and light, record audio, status LED, disable, enable, infrared lights, auto or off, adjust the alarm and speaker volume. Ok, and user. You have so many settings. Now let's move on. Channel. Auto add channel management. Add device in LAN with default username, admin and default password automatically. AOT, auto add, surveillance, record, email alert, disable a label, FTP, buzzer, you can uh, make a daily schedule for the buzzer, exception, 
NVR buzzer for system exceptions, push notification, siren, daily schedule. So we have so many settings here. On screen warning, disable, enable, network, general, Wi Fi. You can change the Wi Fi, but first you need to add the admin password. DFS channel, cancel for the 2.4 and 5 GHz. Advanced, local network settings, DDNS settings, MTP settings, IP filter settings, port settings. UPnP disable enable storage there is the hard drive information for the hard drive system general time and language account center maintenance and info check for latest version update Please insert the USB and update. OK, I will check that later. I like when a product gives you so many options to adjust to your needs. And of course here you can lock the screen, shut down or reboot. Now let's check the settings on the smartphone from the Reolink app to see what options you have. NVR settings. We can see some information. Storage. You can format storage space available, network information, update device, auto update or update manual, record, disable or enable, settings, post motion record direction, 1, 2, 5 or 10 minutes, pack direction, 30, 45 or 60 minutes, override recording, 1 to 30 day, override the oldest files or none. Channel, and you can disable, enable for each uh, camera and schedule. Any motion, person, visitor, the timer, and adjust with your finger, enable, disable, copy to other days of the week. The same for the timer. Push notifications, enable. Settings, push interval from 20 to 120 seconds, for the E1 zoom, enable disable, video doorbell of FEW. Email alerts, enable, choose which camera you want to have email alerts, schedule, again, settings, set up now, enter email, Gmail, Yahoo mail are recommended. FTP, enable, data transfer will not be encrypted when using FTP. OK, choose for the cameras you want, settings, disable, buzzer, enable, disable, for which camera you want, you can schedule again, Wi-Fi, For the 5 year heads and 2.4, share the NVR with QR code, advance, user management, add admin or user, illegal login, logout, disable a label, the other person needs to have a real link account, date and time, reboot or restore, channel list, you can rename. Disable, enable, and then we have the three cameras, and you can adjust all the settings for each of these cameras. I'm not going to show you the settings of this camera again because I have made a complete video for each of these cameras, so you can check at the description of the playlist Rio link. Are amazing high quality products that you need to have at your place and feel safe. The video doorbell, e zoom camera, fish eye camera, and more. We have other position for cameras. <laughs>
and add the real link here, playback. We can see 27 uh, minutes recording, 45 minutes recording. You have 24 seven recording. I like that. It is a great solution for your shop, warehouse, home. Install as many Reolink surveillance cameras as you need to feel safe. And the best part is that you don't need any cables. The Wi-Fi 6 antennas can cover a large area. You can store your footage on the NVR and have your video files ready to watch even a year ago. If you want to learn more about this product and where you can buy it, there is a link to the video description and a playlist of other Reolink products to watch. Maybe you like something and just buy it. Thank you for watching. Until my next video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video and hit the notification bell. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.